stocks stem losses from the last few days as we see right now that the Nasdaq is up just short of a half of 1%, the Russell the same, the S&P the same, around four tenths, and the Dow is up a little bit more than a third of 1%. Jolt's jobs data was uneventful. ADP data misses lower with only 140,000 jobs added. The Real Clear Markets Economic Optimism Index dropped from 44 to 43.5. It was ex expected to move higher to 45, and the Bank of Canada left interest rates unchanged. All of that combined to push the dollar down to the lowest level since February 2nd, with yields lower as well, down between, let's call it three, one and three basis points between the two-year and the five-year sector. 30-year is unchanged, feeling like it's going a little bit higher right now. But gold hit a new all-time high. Silver, copper, and crude oil are all higher. We've got Jay Powell speaking right now. Today and tomorrow, he's got the semi-annual monetary report to Congress, starting with the House. Now, House members only get three minutes to question the Fed chair. So today, you don't really get a ton on policy. You get more political grandstanding. The Senate is coming tomorrow, and that's where you get actual meat into monetary policy. So you need to keep an eye on today's, but tomorrow's probably where you'll get more market-moving commentary, if we get any at all. His prepared comments include a passage saying they will likely uh, be appropriate to cut rates this year, but of course, they need to see more data as always. Tomorrow, ECB rate decision. They are expected to hold rates at the current 4% level. Looking ahead, as we get closer to the quiet period, we get some Fed speak today, including Minneapolis Fed President Neil Kashkari and San Francisco Fed President Mary Daly. We also get the Fed's Beige Book this afternoon. Tomorrow, more central bank talk with Cleveland Fed President Loretta Messer and of course, ECB President Christine Lagarde after their rate decision. Earnings after the close today, eight companies with market caps over a billion, including High Peak Energy and Vermilion Energy. Before tomorrow's open, we get another 16 companies with billion dollar market caps, including Kroger, Burlington Stores, BJ Wholesale, Sienna Corp, which is a technology company, and Toro Industrials. Data tonight, more National People's Congress in China and their trade balance figures. Uh, tomorrow, that ECB rate decision and jobless claims in the US.